friends i want to introduce you a, a technology for wastewater treatment that has been developed at iit hyderabad this has been developed by uh, dr devraj bhattacharya of civil engineering looking at the current scenario in india where almost 75000 million liters of uh, wastewater is being generated per day a large quantity of this wastewater goes into the rivers and almost only about one third of this wastewater is being treated this is causing a lot of problem health problems to people who drink uh, water from these uh, water sources and hence this particular technology that is developed is a basically an improved variant of a sequential batch reactor which has a fully compartmentalized base a sloping floor an efficient aeration system and a simple uh, uh, but efficient uh, um, decanting system and with that the whole operational efficiency of the uh, wastewater treatment has been significantly improved and such a plant with about capacity of about 1.6 million liters per day has already been set up uh, to treat industrial water uh, and ensure that a uh, safe water is uh, provided to people uh, around that particular region where such a wa uh, waste water is being generated i am very confident that many such plants are going to come up in near future in large sizes and help the country to come out of uh, the problem with the waste water so that every drop of the waste water is treated and provided a, a, with very good quality to the people at large and ensure the uh, the health of um, the people in general is not uh, sacrificed because of the waste water Approximately 75,000 million liters of wastewater is generated every day in India, and out of this generated wastewater, only one third receives some form of treatment. The rest is simply discharged into water bodies, thereby causing environmental pollution and health problems. So there is a big gap between the quantity of wastewater that is generated and the quantity being treated. So the question is how we address this issue. One way of addressing the issue is to increase the capacity of the existing facilities, develop new infrastructure based on the state of the art technologies. The other approach could be to decentralize the wastewater treatment and management. The idea is like the polluters or the generators of wastewater, they should also shoulder some responsibility. So these two options are not mutually exclusive but should be pursued simultaneously therefore in many gated communities nowadays we see on site wastewater treatment plants so there the wastewater is treated at site and reused for non potable purposes even in industries big or small an etp an effluent treatment plant is mandatory even in places where there are common effluent treatment plants the member industries have to give some kind of preliminary treatment before sending the wastewater to the common facilities for uh, for the treatment now one major problem is the space constraint in most places the adequate space is not available for uh, treatment plants so therefore we need to develop high rate treatment technologies that is more volume of wastewater should be treated in lesser reactor volume so that the footprint of the overall treatment plant becomes small we are proposing an improved version of sequential batch reactor or sbr sequencing batch reactor activated sludge process and few other technologies are available for wastewater treatment by far activated sludge process which is a continuous flow type reactor is more most widely adopted technology however if you see the basic equations which model the performance of cfstr plug flow reactors and batch reactors you will see that the volume requirement of the batch reactors uh, is likely to be less compared to cfstr kind of reactor like activated sludge process for same degree of pollutant removal under similar operating conditions 
However, sequencing batch reactor like many biological treatment systems do have some issues with the repair, maintenance and sludge wasting. Sometimes the decanter system malfunction because of the accumulation of suspended solids during the treatment phase which reduces the quality of the treated effluent. Our prototype is developed based on the observation that if we can give uniform aeration or mixing in the reactor during the treatment phase, then during the settling phase of the biomass, the settling will take place uniformly under gravity. So if we compartmentalize the base of the reactor following certain geometry, then we can precisely tell what is the fraction of biomass that is accumulated in different compartments. During the time of sludge wasting, we target a few of those compartments and we completely empty them. The height of the compartments is designed based on the sludge volume index and the desired MLVSs in the reactor. Therefore, from the geometry of each compartment, we can tell right away what is the quantity of sludge that was wasted during the sludge wasting phase. Also, the compartments being independent of each other, the repair and maintenance of the reactor can be done on compartment by compartment basis uh, between successive cycles without emptying the reactor completely. So this reduces significantly the length of the time during which a particular reactor is not in operation. The baffle walls of the compartment prevent transmittance of any accidental turbulence which may occur during the time of settling of the biomass. The configuration reduces significantly the settling phase before the decanting of the supernet begins. Often we face problems with the decanting mechanism of SBR because of the accumulation of suspended solids during the aeration phase. Now we have developed a spring valve based decanting mechanism which prevents entry of any suspended particles into the decanter during the aeration phase. Thereby, we preserve the quality of the treated effluent. Using a system of re retractable diffuser, we ensure uniform aeration and mixing in our reactor. The project fits well within the scope of Swachh Bharat mission and Make in India mission. Initially, the prototype was developed as a component of containerized wastewater treatment systems, which were meant for small and medium scale industries and gated communities where space is an issue. But the concept of the design can be extended to larger side build systems as well. We have applied for an Indian patent. Uh, currently, we are constructing a fluent treatment plant for a distillery unit. The objective of the project is to reuse the treated effluent in the distillery process itself. This prototype has been developed in collaboration with an industry under Uchchatara Avishkar Yojana. Currently, the industry partner holds the marketing right, but we are eager to extend the commercial right to other companies so that this technology is made available to every corner of the country.